Good morning. Today's lesson is 11.1. Our essential question is, how can you identify and classify polygons? Let's unlock the problem. The Castle de Monte in Apulo, Italy was built more than 750 years ago. The fortress has one central building with eight surrounding towers. Which polygon do you see represented in the structure? How many sides, angles, and vertices does the polygon have? So, before we answer those questions, first we need to know that a polygon is a closed plane figure formed by three or more line segments that meet at points called vertices. It is named by the number of sides and angles it has. To identify the repeated polygons in the fortress, complete the table below. Okay, so first let's look at this triangle right here. Let's look at the sides. This is a side right here. That's one side two sides, three sides, so that's why we put three. Let's look at the angles. The angles are this part right here. There's my angle. There's another angle, that's two. And there's my other angle, so there's three. So I'm gonna write three, okay? Now let's look at the vertices. Remember it says the vertice is the point, right? The point that they meet. So there's a point they meet, there's a point they meet, and there's a point they meet. So how many points does it have? It has one, two, three. So we're gonna write three. All right, next, let's look at the quadrilateral. So sides, we've got one, two, three, four, four sides. Let's look at our angles. One, two, three, four, four angles. Okay, and I'm gonna actually kinda draw the angles. You know what I mean by angle? I mean that, that's an angle right there. Okay, so this one has four angles, so let's go ahead and write the four. Now, vertices, remember that's the point, so this is the end point right here, so there's one, two, three, four, so it has four vertices. Now let's look at the pentagon. We have sides, one, two, three, four, five, so five sides. Now let's look at the angles. We have one, two, three, four, five. So we have five angles. Let's look at the vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five. Again, five vertices. Okay, let's look at the hexagon. So first we have our sides. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides. Let's look at the angles. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we have six angles. And then let's look at the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have six vertices. Starting to see a little pattern here. All right, we're gonna move on, heptagon. So let's look at our sides, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven sides. Let's look at our angles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's look at our vertices. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's look at our octagon. Um, sides, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at our angles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And let's look at our vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and then let's look at our nonagon. Our nonagon has sides one two three four five six seven eight nine and our angles we have one there two three four five six seven eight nine and then let's look at our vertices where they meet one two three four five six seven eight nine and finally let's look at the decagon so our decagon has how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And let's look at its angles. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10. And finally, let's look at its vertices. Remember, those are the points that it meets. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So a decagon has 10 sides. So the octagon is repeated in the polygon in the Casa del Monte because it has eight sides, eight angles, and eight vertices right there. All right, regular polygons. When line segments have the same length or when angles have the same measurement, they are congruent. Two polygons are congruent when they have the same size and the same shape. In a regular polygon, all sides are congruent and all angles are congruent. So let's look at the regular polygon. On this one, all sides are congruent. They're all four centimeters long. And all angles are congruent. They're all 108 degrees. You can write the me measurements to show that the sides are and angles are congruent, just like they did in this one. Not a regular polygon. Not all sides are congruent. Not all angles are congruent. You can use the same markings to show congruent sides and angles. So you see how that one has a 2 and that one has a 2 marking? Those two are congruent. However, this one has a 1 and a 1 because they're longer. So they gave them a different... Over here, we have the angles. And in these angles, they have 1. Um, this indicates that these two are the same. However, these two angles have two lines indicating that they're not the same as this, but they are the same as each other. Let's try this. We're going to label the Venn diagram to classify the polygons in each group. Then draw a polygon that belongs to each group. So as I'm looking, this one has congruent angles, but only two congruent sides here and two congruent sides here. This one has the same thing. All the angles are the same. Two congruent sides, two congruent sides. On this one, it has congruent angles and congruent sides, all of them. Same, congruent angles and congruent sides. On this one, however, it has congruent sides but different angles. So, congruent angles and is this side, and this side is congruent sides. And in the middle is where the angles and the sides are congruent. So this middle, since the angles and the sides are congruent, they are regular polygons. Name the polygon, then use the markings to figure to tell whether the regular polygons or not regular polygons. So let's name the polygon. So this polygon right here is a triangle. Okay. Are all the sides and angles congruent? Well, let's look and see. It looks like the angles all have one line, so that means they're congruent. These three have one line. So our angles, that's our angle right there, are congruent. So the answer is yes. And our sides are congruent. Is the polygon a regular polygon? Well, if all sides and all angles are congruent, then yes, it is a regular polygon. Okay, let's do a few of these examples. So let's look to see if it's a regular polygon or not a regular polygon. So first of all, how many sides? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six hexagons, if I, oops, I gave out the answer, but six sides means a hexagon. Um, if you look back at the chart that we filled out at the very beginning, so we're gonna name it first. It is a hexagon. Now, in order for it to be a regular polygon, all sides have to be congruent. So let's look at our sides. It looks like all the sides are exactly the same. I can see that by because they put one line. They don't have more than one. Are all my angles congruent? It looks like, yes, they are congruent. Therefore, it is a regular polygon. Regular polygon. Use the chart that we had from the very beginning to help you with this. If I look at the second one, I can see that this side has two markings, and that side has two markings, and that only has one and one. So that means that this one is not a regular, even though it does have the same angles, it does not have all four sides being the same. So this one is not a regular polygon. And if I were to name this one, it has four sides, so we know that it's a quadrilateral. <coughs> You're gonna do the rest on your own or with a partner. Good luck. I will also be on the floor if you need any help. Thank you and good luck.